Is this the most beautiful city in all of Mexico? Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we've actually come to the Yellow City in Izamal and we're up for a sunrise mission. We don't really have too many plans today. We're gonna kind of just walk around and explore this beautiful town that's just covered and everything here is yellow. You can just see even behind me here, like it's actually so beautiful. So we're heading to the Covenant right now. It's one of the bigger things to do around here. We're gonna fully explore this morning so there's absolutely nobody here so we can do some filming. We just got to the Covenant it's seven in the morning. It's complete opposite of it was yesterday. So if you plan on coming to Izamal and you want to come to the Covenant, come right in the morning because there's absolutely nobody here. The town of Izamal was founded nearly 2,000 years ago by the Mayans and was named after the Mayan god Itzamna. It has a Pueblo Magico or Magical Town designation from their government for its blend of architecture, history, and culture. But the one question that everyone always asks is, why is the city yellow? The first theory is that a visit from John Paul II in 1993 prompted them to paint the city to honor him. And the second theory is that it was painted to honor the Mayan god of the sun. So we are all done at the Covenant. We had a really, really good time. We spent about the last hour and a half or so here just walking around taking photos and kind of taking in the beautiful architecture. So I think we're going to go around, look for somewhere to eat breakfast, and then we're going to explore. There's quite a bit more pyramids around the city as well, so I think we're going to be doing that next. It's kind of a nice change of pace too. Like, we're walking around, we're probably the only tourists here right now. I don't know if it's just because everyone's hungover, but there's absolutely no other tourists except for us. I just found a restaurant right there. Oh yeah, everything just looks so good here. Yeah. So now we're going to go to the pyramid. It's called uh, Pyramid Kimich. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but oh well. And it's only a kilometer from the Covenant, so we're just going to walk over. All right, we're heading up to the second level here. I think it's going to be a really, really beautiful view of Izamal. Oh my God, it's actually so much steeper than it looks. I need to kind of pay attention to where I'm going because I don't want to fall. It's actually like so steep. Kind of sketchy to climb up that. It's really steep. Alicia's down there right now. She's coming up. She was just taking some photos down there. And I can bet you anything she's going to be bear crawling up because that's like what half the people have been doing getting up here. But you can see kind of behind me all of Izamal. And we're so lucky just on the other side over here is where we're staying. So we're right by the pyramid too. Well, I thought like I found it to be really steep. Yeah, like <laughs> It's not a shame, we've been eating nothing but tortillas and Tortillas, yeah. Cheese. It's not the health, healthiest <laughs> thing in the world. Nice job. Made it! So far so good. Okay. You can do it. Can Use both your hands. Okay, go. Nailed it. So we just came down from the sketchy hike down the pyramid. It's really beautiful though. What do you think, Alicia? I think that's so cool. It's very cool just to go spend like, I think we, it'd be beautiful for the sunset or sunrise. I think we might come back just because we're staying so close. We need some agua so badly. I'm we so thirsty. Lots of agua. Lots of agua and maybe get some more food because we're already hungry again. <laughs> Okay, so we already know what we're eating. We ate there yesterday. It's the same name as the pyramid. It's Restaurante Kimich. And it's super authentic, love the region of Yucatan here. Yeah, we're not sure if it's open, but it's perfect because it's like right literally 30 seconds from the pyramid. So it's really convenient too if you're hungry after climbing that. So the restaurant Kimich is closed, but Alicia 
like she always does. Found us another really good place here. I have no clue what it's called, but I'll just throw that up here too. And it looks like very good stuff. I got like a traditional Mayan breakfast. Alicia just got hotcakes because she likes pancakes. The cappuccinos in Izamal and Valladolid are all so pretty. Called huevos mochileños. I probably didn't pronounce that right, so I'm sorry. It's basically like tortillas with fried eggs in it and meat, and it's like covered in tomato sauce. And it looks really, really good. There's a lot of cheese on it, but I'm gonna try and do my best here because I'm not escaping the mayonnaise and cheese in Yucatan. Tastes good. That tastes good. Yeah, there you go. Want a bite? Yeah. Someone like the hotcakes. I sure did. Well, that was a very good meal. We're all fueled up. Now we're heading to the bus station. So we have to buy our tickets. We have to head back to Valladolid. And then from there, we're gonna go to Chiquila and Holbosch. And it's very hard to find the bus station. So if we find it, I'll throw the address in here just so you guys know when you're heading out. Cause we're not entirely sure, but we think we're going the right way. Thank you. The bus terminal is actually not hard to find at all. I don't know why we thought it was so complicated. When we got here, it felt like he was driving around for a while. So I don't know if he was just driving in circles or there is a lot of one ways. So maybe he had to go like do a big loop to get to our place. But I'll, I'll leave the address anyway, just so you know, but it's really close to the square too. Look at this four horse. They even make him wear like a hat. We're back at the Airbnb. So we're gonna relax for a little bit. It's still really early. This Airbnb is really cool, by the way, because you can see the pyramid is right behind us. Like, yeah, it's a really good location. At one of the pyramids. And they also have goats here, so that's kind of cool. If you're into that, we need a little break from the sunshine. I got a lot of work done on one of the videos. Hopefully, I'll have that posted in a few days. And we're gonna go back to that restaurant that was closed this morning. Never mind. Like every time on this trip, it's plans have changed. We're going back to the place we went to earlier because uh, there's a massive lineup, so we're not going to be able to get in probably for a while. Potatoes are cheaper here. They're only 70. It's a flamingo. There's an old woman here who is actually making the tortillas handmade on like a little, what would you call that? Like a stone like yeah. plate with like a fire and she's actually making them fresh. And I just find it really cool that it's that fresh for literally like just across from her and she's making them like handmade. We have pico de gallo. We have the pumpkin seed dip that we had yesterday, and we've got probably beans. <laughs> so Alicia convinced me to finally drink with her because I never do, <laughs> and she's been complaining. So that's two, Alicia. What's it called though? Panucho. Pen Panucho. Panuchos. Or something very close to that. That entree was really, really good. What is it, vodka? I don't know. Probably. Homemade tortillas are very, very good. Highly recommend eating here if you're coming to Izama. Yeah, best restaurant since Yucatan. So for Valladolid and Izama, it's the best one. It's a traditional, it looks, it's like a custard looks, cake. It looks like creme brulee. We ordered a traditional dessert as well. It's called flan. It looks, honestly, it looks like a creme brulee. But I think it originated from Spain and the Mexicans kind of adopted it and did their little spin on it. So I'm super pumped to try that right when I saw it because I love creme brulee. So if it tastes anything like that, I'm going to be super into it. Let's dig in. They do it with a spoon? Yeah. It looks very good. It looks exactly <laughs> like creme brulee basically without the syrup. It's good. It's it tastes like creme brulee, I find. What a good meal, oh my god. It's about sunset time now. We're gonna go back to back to where we started, at the pyramids, and see if we can check out a nice sunset, because it's definitely the best place to look at the sunset in Izamal. So we're so lucky, we're literally walking into our Airbnb, and right here is the pyramids. Like, it's literally like facing our Airbnb. Would this even be a vacation if I wasn't making Alicia do something really sketchy? Oh, no thanks, I'm good. The mission right behind us. You ready to climb? Not gonna 
find a better place for the sunset. Nope, that's for sure.